Court, Brother Love, can you hear me? Say something, nigga. I can't hear him. What do I got to do to, to hear him? <laughs> uh, this thing is stupid. Does it work? You can hear me? It sound good? Yeah, it work, nigga. All right, man. What you got going on today, dog? Nothing, man. Just chilling, watching the Toy Story 4. Blowing some blueberry OG. What's the best weed? Man, uh, sitting here with my brother, Corey Taylor. First time I ever smoked was with Corey, man. Um, man, that was a long time ago. I was a youngster, man. Uh, what's the, what was your first weed experience like, Corey? I never asked you that, bro. I used to work at KFC, and one of the homies that worked there, one of the SA homies, <laughs> He was a part of this little gangster tag banging crew back then called VIP, uh-huh. and um, and he can't. It was his off day, and I was working, and he came through with his homie. Two niggas had their munchies, and they didn't have no bread. And it was like, hey, they called me Carlito. He's like, hey, Carlito. He was like, hey, hook me and my homeboy up with a two piece and a biscuit. I'll hook you up with two joints. I was like, all right, and because I had, <laughs> is that how they talk? I've been I had I, it probably been like it couldn't have been no more than two weeks prior. I had just finished telling Damien, man, I want to smoke weed. I want to try it because I kept hearing about it uh-huh. on like, other people and on TV. And so, anyways, um, now that came up, so I was like, for sure. So I hooked him and the homie up, and then he gave me a. Um, a bag and it was two joints rolled up in it and i went to the bathroom and i tucked it in my sock and that's the shit when i came home and the next day i was smoking it and your ass jay ass was out there too much man what are you doing smoking uh, weed that's the gateway drug i said that <laughs> yeah how did i know you was high though how did i know I, gonna... I was outside in the garage and I remember the garage in Linwood, how you go to the garage, and then the door right there, um, the wind, it had a window that let, that you could look out into the backyard, right next to the door. So I was standing, and it was a sink right there too. Remember that big ass sink? Yeah. So I was, I was standing right there, leaning on the sink, and I was blowing the weed out the uh, garage, and you thought it was weird, first of all, that I went outside and went in the garage and I closed the door. And remember, it had that sh- that thick ass strap on it. The little rope, the little blue rope. Yeah, because the dog, yeah. So, <laughs> so I pulled the rope on the inside and closed the door. Mm-hmm. And so that, that that alerted you, I guess. And you seen smoke coming out the window and you came outside and I was like, man, go in the house. <laughs> he was like, you were scared, but you was, li- you, you was going in the house still and you was talking shit like, man. Don't do it, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, and then, like, like, I tried to give you a lecture. I tried to talk you out of it while you were smoking. <laughs> yeah, and then, and, and then that I smoked that whole joint by myself, and I didn't feel nothing. Uh-huh. And I was like, Damn, I was disappointed. And I called Damien up earlier before I smoked it too. The first one before I smoked it, and he was on the same shit you were saying. Man, don't do it, man. Don't do it. So then I was like, man, fuck everybody. So I just went in the garage, and that's when you saw me. I was like, man, take your ass now. And so then I, after I did it and I didn't feel nothing, I called Damien. I told him, man, I didn't feel nothing, man. I'm going to say this other one so you can do it with me. You ain't nothing to be scared of. Mm-hmm. Was, so I convinced him finally. He was like, all right. So we smoked the next one. Man, you dropping stuff, man. And then, and then um, uh, Joe to get a nigga his little something, something and we we was towed up, nigga, like on half bake when them niggas got high the first time and went to the to the Seven Eleven or whatever that was, and was yeah. swimming in the slushy and eating yabba zabba <laughs> big as him and shit. Man, man, that was my first experience. Was it some Reggie or was you smoking some fire? Yeah, man, we I didn't get a hold of no um Hi, Uncle Brent. What's up? <laughs> What's up, buddy? I didn't get a hold of nothing uh fantastic until G. So I started messing with G. Uh-huh. Because G um was on he you know, he used to slang 
and he had the chronic and niggas didn't even know nothing about chronic other than hearing about it. Mm-hmm. And then um, one day um, it was me and Damien, we was gonna come through, it was like, hey man, we're gonna bring some trees. He was like, all right, for sure. So we was gonna all go over there and kick it. That's when he lived in Long Beach. And then uh, we went over there and um, nigga, we brought out, broke our weed out, nigga, and started praying. He was like, what the fuck is that? Like, first he was just, see, see how I'm looking like this? Just imagine this, this, I'm G, and he looking at TV. And so I don't see you over here doing what you're doing. And then he turned around and nigga looked, what the fuck is that? And nigga was like, oh, hell no. Nah. It was like, oh, no, 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 no. And the nigga handed me, he said, man, let me show you something. And the nigga went and got a sack. He used to sell a uh, 25 sack. It wasn't the regular dub sack. That motherfucker was fat as hell. You had to burn them at the top to make it stay closed, melt it together and shit. And then um, that was how I got introduced to the real trees. Yeah. And then from then on, I, I only maybe a couple times after that, I smoked stress. But mm-hmm. getting a t- touch of that, uh, they were real green. Like, I never went back to them stems and sticks and seeds and all you that mean, shit. You heard the last time you smoked some Reggie? No, in high school, my nigga. Get that down. Was, hey, get down. That was the last time you t- you touched the seed, nigga, in high school? It's been that long? Yeah, man. I ain't, not as an adult, nigga, for sure. Man, I got tricked recently, nigga. <laughs> I got tricked recently. <laughs> no, you know what? I'll tell you this much. I'll tell you this much. I used to have this weed man. His name was Dale. Mm-hmm. And I got hooked up to him through Tremaine. So I was like thinking, okay, for sure, I'm going to fuck with him. And he said, now, he said, it's, he told me, he said, nigga, it's not. He was like, I'm not going to say nothing. He said, just you see for yourself. So, all right. So the price was superb, nigga. Go through there. And, you know, back in the day, nigga, you go through and nigga had the sandwich bag with the trees in it. Yeah. And uh, the whole, uh, about this thick on the bottom of the bag across, going across the width of the sandwich bag. And you know, he rolled it all the way up and give it to you, look like a little motherfucking twisty donut. You know what I'm saying? And he give it to you in a brown bag. And so the first time I went and got it, it smelled kind of piney, you know what I'm saying? But when I looked at it, it didn't look like much. But to look at it, you'll be like, oh, hell no, this nigga got me, man. You smoke some stress as a grown ass man, huh? Listen, so I smoked it. I was like, damn, this shit is bomb. It did the damn job. Then I asked the nigga, I said, hey, man, what kind of weed is this? He said, man, it's some bomb weed. He said, it's just, um, it, it's, it's, I said, is it chronic? <laughs> the nigga said, he said, it's not chronic. And he said, it's not the bottom. It's like, if I would have picked it too soon, you, it would probably be the bottom. He's like, but I, you, he said, I let it go to the to the fullest it can go, and it come out like this. I was like, well, that shit's strong. So I used to mess with them heavy until the dispensaries got big. Okay, question, question. It sounded like he had some homegrown. That's what it was. Just some him homegrown. and his dad had a uh, they had a garden. Uh, it was some homegrown weed, but it wasn't like it had seeds and stems and sticks. No, oh, no, no, no. See, yeah, that's different. That's just he just had some homegrown. Right, I got tricked. Straight off the rip recently. I, I did a comedy <laughs> show. I was around some people. Everybody know I smoke. I had a comedy lady came to me. She was like, ah, oh, Brent, you want to hit? And then, like, she was the homegirl. She had a big fat blunt. Nigga, I was like, hell yeah, let's smoke. Ooh, I was just about to go on stage. Too. That was the cold part. I needed to hit the weed. I was just about to go on stage. I was like, yeah, for sure. Nigga, she gave that to me. Nigga, I must have hit it a couple times. I hit it like two. On the third one, I was like, hold on. <laughs> you get, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 that shit started getting wrong, nigga. Yeah. So the lip wouldn't, even, it was like my lip was like, no, <laughs> get this shit out. And then you was like, this lips was going on. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, no! <laughs> <laughs> so then I hit it as the bullshit went through my body. I could tell it was a whole nother smoke. Like I could tell this smoke coming a different color. This shit, this shit black. <laughs> this some black, black weed smoke in my shit. And then my head started hurting immediately. And I it. And then, what? bitch, you have. So you know all it takes is the smell. Oh. 
you know, all you gotta do is smell it. I was, I smelled the blunt. And I was like, ah, oh, man, that high school came back to me. I was like, this smelled like senior year all over again. Matter of fact, junior year, I was off by, and I looked at her. She was a grown ass woman, so I couldn't clown. You know what I'm saying? Like, she was a nice lady and shit. But you ever just try, you ever give somebody they shit back, but you, you know what I'm saying? You don't want it. You just play it off like you still in the cycle, but you're not. Like, I gave her the shit back. And then when it came back to me the second time, I was just like, ah, that's what's up. Nigga, I just, I held it up. <laughs> I just held it up. <laughs> no, nah, what you should have did after the first time around it was, and you discovered, you should have been like, all right, good looking, y'all. And then walked your ass on stage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just go in. <laughs> man, that shit was hella awkward, man. I was so mad. I seen that bitch like two more times since then. <laughs> it's been uh, it's been super ugly. <laughs> I had to hit her, I had to hit her with the Friday. <laughs> you wanna smoke today, man? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Thanks, man. I just appreciate it, man. I just want to do a little practice podcast with my brother real quick, man. Love you, cuz. Stay up, man.